Hello dolls and welcome to my quarterly Mend, Sew and Tailor day. Um, basically I do this every couple of months when I go thrifting. I will find pieces that I don't perfectly love the fit of or if you just have a lot of vintage pieces you will have to do a bunch of mending over the time. And so I will just put all of these pieces aside if I like see a flaw, if I wear them and I see that something in the cut that's kind of bothering me. And then every now and then I will find a little bit of time to get on my trusty sewing machine and get everything fixed. So that's what I want to do today. And because the past couple of times when I've done these videos, you always enjoyed them a lot, I decided to take you along with me today. Uh, I quickly want to preface this by saying everything that I know sewing-wise is pretty much self-taught or from school. I am not a professional. I just do this as I go, as it works best for me. So if you're looking for like a professional tutorial, this is not it. But if you're looking for easy ways to fix and tailor your vintage clothing, keep on watching. So this is what I'm wearing today. I recently got this blouse by a friend. I was quickly thinking about tailoring it because it is like a more oversized kind of look. But I do actually like this. Also the skirt I recently just tailored. I basically just shortened it. Um, yeah, let's get into the pieces. So this first thing is so, so special to me. It is from my mom not from the 60s or 70s, but from sometime between the late 90s and the early 2000s. So when I was a kid, my mom had this suit combo that is basically a corduroy velvet psychedelic skirt and then a matching blazer. And she, at one point in like my childhood, only wore black because of like her job and everything. And so she like put this in her closet. And like, I remember her whenever she would go through her closet because my mom is like a pretty minimal person. So she gets rid of things pretty easily, but she never, never, never got rid of this because she always thought it was so beautiful. And so a couple of weeks ago, she was like, hey, I have this and I just come to the conclusion after 20 years of not wearing it, I will not wear it again. Would you like it? And she knew that I kind of like had my eyes on this forever. And so, now it is with me, I love it, the fit is perfect. Let me quickly try it on for you. I know it's going to look a little weird with the blouse, but I think you will get the vision. Tell me that this isn't the most perfect Biba-esque kind of suit, I love it. The only thing that I don't love is the length of the skirt. I wanna make this a mini skirt. I said it multiple times before when shortening skirts, especially these like very classic cut ones, I will always get a skirt that I have with this cut that fits me really well and just uh, go off of that. So yeah, that's my plan for this. The jacket fits great, nothing. I just wanted to show you the whole thing, but uh, I'm not gonna do anything to the jacket. The next piece that I have is this wonderful dress. I thrifted this because I immediately fell in love with the pattern, the cut. I really, really love these shoulders and like sleeves. I think it's beautiful. The only thing I don't like about it is the length. And I don't want to just kind of shorten it because I feel like one of the most prettiest parts about this dress is this down here. So my idea is to kind of like take this up, maybe to like here to just have a nice little mini dress. I feel like this would be absolutely perfect. I feel like both for the pattern and for like the length this is. Quite nice. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Other than that, I love this dress. I just want to cut off these like bits because I'm sure there was a belt at one point, but there no longer is one, and I'm not planning on wearing this with a belt. So I think this just needs to go. Number three is this dress that I also really, really love. Um, as you can see, it looks kind of weird at the bottom, and that's because it is actually quite longer. And I just it's, it's the fact that it is so full down here and kind of like goes away from the body, so I think that's a good thing to do. So I truly think that that's a good thing to do with the dress. I got this dress towards the end of last summer, so I ended up not really wearing it, and now I really want to wear it this summer. I kind of like have the same issue with this one that I just have with a lot of dresses. It's the length, as said, um, with all the other ones. I think I'm just gonna take it up to like right below these buttons. I think it's a beautiful dress. I was thinking about taking it in a little up here, but looking at it, I actually like the kind of boxier silhouette. So 
yeah, a lot of the things that I do is just taking in pieces. But honestly, it's such an easy fix. I often see people commenting they find pieces that look very 60s, but the length is off. You can always shorten anything. It is so, so easy. Also, look at the buttons and the patterns. It's such a beautiful dress. I actually do have some more pieces to shorten, but since that's kind of like the same thing over and over again, I figured I don't show you those. Um, you will probably see them sometime later in this video. There's one more piece that I want to talk about. So this, I'm sure I showed you in a video before. I think the first like tailoring and mending kind of video. It's this dreamy, dreamy late 60s lace dress. The details on this are absolutely perfect, but I'm pretty sure it is home sewn. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm just saying pieces that are home sewn might not sustain or even machine sewn. Um, pieces just don't last forever. And so this is an issue I had with this dress before. Basically like the zipper line came off. And as you can see, this is hand sewn into here. So yeah, with vintage clothing, you just every now and then have to do this. I also have a dress downstairs where the zipper broke, but I forgot to buy a new zipper. So that's a task for another day, but I'm also gonna do this and I am going to do this by hand. This is like my biggest tip overall. When you see something was hand sewn, hand sew it. If you see something was machine sewn, you're probably good to machine sew it. So. With this, I think that my machine would just absolutely rip through this beautiful fabric. So I'm taking the safe route, doing what the person who last worked on this dress, whether it was for a shop, whether it was like a private little thing, I'm just gonna do it whatever he or she did because I feel like that's always the best way and safest way to go about this. So this is the skirt that I wanna tailor and I need to figure out what to do with the excess fabric because it's just so, so beautiful. This is such a pretty fabric. But then what I like to do is to take this skirt, which also used to belong to my mom, and I just shorten it, and I'm just gonna put that on top. And then I will already know which length I like, so I will just uh, pin that in place, and then I will know where to sew. Leave us feeling day to day. And then I also brought this dress, because I really, really love the length of it. And I just wanted to check if this kind of like aligns with it. So if you want to have the same length in two dresses that don't have the same cut, always go by these shoulder seams, like align them and then you will know. So now I'm seeing that like below the last button as I wanted to cut is kind of like the length that this dress has. You can also align by going with the seam from under the armpit. That also works really well. Welcome to my little sewing corner. I made room on my desk to just put the sewing machine here. I also have a chai tea with me. Lately, I've been loving chai tea with milk. I also drink a lot of coffee, so. But after like two cups of coffee today, I felt like a tea was a good choice. And it really is, this is a great tea. Okay, so with this skirt, the first thing that I wanna do, and this is something that I can just recommend you to do. So when you shorten something that is aligned, never sew these two pieces together. It will usually make it bulky. It will just not look as good. So if it is kind of like combined like this, um, use a pair of scissors because usually you don't need the lining combined to like the outer layer and if you do this is like easily sewn back on so I will just cut that off so that I have two complete separate layers of fabric and then <laughs> this might see a little weird but I just go in and like pull the lining all the way out and now I can work on this side and then later just adjust this side to the length of this. And I don't cut before it is sewn. So because vintage pieces are rare, they're valuable, um, I will pin this in place and then I will just kind of like sew around here, try it on, see if I like it because just because something is sewn differently, you can always like remove the seam and start fresh. But as soon as you cut something, it's over if you like make a mistake. And I've had this happening to me where I want to shorten a dress cut it too short and I I don't know it just makes me really sad so I just want to take the super safe route and this is how I do it so I'm gonna pin this sew it and yeah we'll see
So I just checked with this dress and I feel like this is the way that the pattern aligns the nicest. I feel like if you hold it like this, it looks very, like it flows very much with the existing pattern. So I'm gonna pin it like this and then sew it. I love this dress. Honestly, when I bought it, I immediately like fell in love. So it is 100% cotton. So most dresses are wider on the bottom than they are on the top. So what I do to make sure that everything still aligns is I go by these like side seams. This is the back. This is like where the zipper uh, is sewn in. And then there's one here um, and like on the other side. So it's four seams across. And so I will just pin these in place and then if there's like a little bit of fabric overlapping because most likely there is if you're moving something from like the bottom part of the dress a little more up I will make like the smallest little dart and I will tell you if you do it and you like don't make one big one but like as said you go by four pieces so you make four like tiny darts no one will be able to tell. But I will wait. just tried to fix the red dress and I honestly think it's the spandex kind of like material that my sewing machine just cannot take. I always try but I usually fail so I need to hand sew that but that's also something I'm just gonna do another day because um, it's already kind of late and I want to finish this up and like make dinner and get the baby to bed all these kind of things. For me personally, whenever I want to do like a noon full of sewing and I'm like, oh, I will get everything done, I, I never do. And I think that that's okay. I think it's better to start fixing some pieces than just not ever fixing anything. But I feel like sewing is one of these things where I always think it's going to be so quick and then it's not. So I just went up all the way across the seam and now I'm just going back. I'm kind of like doing it twice to have it a little more secured so hopefully this time it'll stay in there a little longer um yeah but if it comes out again honestly i don't i don't mind it that much it's honestly not that much work so speaking of crafts and sewing i am currently making my son a little poncho i just honestly had so much of that yellow wool left that i used for his birthday crown and i thought it was so cute and then i figured a poncho is something that I love to throw on or like a shawl in general when it is kind of chilly during the summer so I thought that, that would be perfect for him as well so I'm currently making him one I'll show you once I'm done it's like this very very cute little pattern that I modified a little for him because I didn't find one with like that thick of a wool so now I just kind of like configured it to work with that but yeah, I really, really like how that is going. And I actually, the more I do it, the more I fall in love with crocheting. It is such an amazing craft. So I'm just gonna do a few leaps here, tie a knot, and then I will quickly show you all the pieces. I haven't cut anything yet. So I will try everything on. I'll cut it if it's like perfect and fitting the way that I want it to. And then that's it for today. Honestly, I love to work on pieces with structure like this by hand because it is also so forgiving. Like, if you look very closely, 
you are able to see the stitches but if you're not you're not just because the way that like the fabric is made and I think that's beautiful the lace is hiding all the imperfections away of me and I'm very very much looking forward to trying everything on I feel like that's the most rewarding thing and I usually try everything on like right after I finish it but I felt like today if I do like a bunch of pieces it would be more fun to try everything in the end I came right by the window in hopes that the lighting is the best here it's like 6 30 I think now um, I'm still on my tea it's cold but it's still good and I'm just gonna try everything on I'm honestly really really excited I said I have been putting this off for quite a while so I'm truly excited to be wearing all of these pieces because with me trying to wear everything that I own this year I am kind of like on a slim choice now with the pieces that I can wear when I find something in the morning like trying to find an outfit and so I will grab something like this and then I'll remember that I cannot wear it because it's not tailored so I'm so so happy that I finally got around to it. Hey, I really 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 want to start with the paisley skirt so I'm just gonna grab that and try it on for you so because I haven't cut it yet it's currently folded up but I love the length I'm gonna cut it to this that's the perfect length let me cut it and I'll be back in a second Okay, I just cut it and I love it. The fit is so, so perfect. Honestly, like this one and the black skirt might be two of my best fitting skirts. They're both from my mom, so I feel like that's a win. <laughs> uh, yeah, I cannot wait to wear this. I was just thinking I have this purple turtleneck that I feel like would be so cool with this or a blouse and then some sort of tie. I love it. I cannot wait to wear this with the jacket. I feel like I will need to wear it in the next couple of days before it gets really hot though. But I feel like even on its own, the skirt is perfect. It is so, so beautiful. It's everything I could have wished for. Um, with all the other pieces, I was a little more brave and I just cut them right away. So uh, let me try them and we'll see if that was a mistake. Even with the yellow tights, the way that it is styled right now, I, I love this. Honestly, this dress, oh, I cannot wait to wear it. It's also cotton. This is so, so perfect for basically like the entire spring and summer and whenever it is really, really hot. As said, I love the details. Nothing has really changed about this dress since I've showed you it like two hours ago. But it's so, so perfect. The cut is amazing and I was a little afraid of these pieces not lining up, but I feel like I took the right measurements because it's actually looking really, really good and even. So next, let's try the black dress because the one with the flowers I'm like building up the most anticipation for myself because I, I I'm just so excited about this one I feel like with this one the cut is going to change the most honestly this dress it is just perfect it was perfect before it's perfect now I love the cut I love everything about this personally I think if it was like the tiniest bit shorter that would be cool but I cannot do that because of the lace it's just it's so 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 perfect honestly this was such a lucky thrift find and i remember when i got it it already had like the broken back and so it was pretty inexpensive i love it i cannot wait to wear this it's so breezy and light so amazing the tiny like flared sleeves honestly this dress <sighs> clothing makes me so happy i always try to explain this to people i'm not materialistic but i just love a good like clothing piece that makes me feel amazing and this dress truly does that so now for the grand reveal here is the wonderful dreamy dress that i recently bought that i like took the bottom part up and that i aligned the flowers i am just truly so in love with this dress i ended up leaving this like layer in here just because the fabric is so delicate i'm a little afraid to rip it but this came out the way that I wanted it. Honestly, I saw it on the hanger and I had this vision. It's so perfect. I cannot wait to wear this all summer. I feel like this is like the perfect summer dress with the sleeves and everything. It's so, so amazing. Wow, it's well-loved, well-worn in, but absolutely beautiful. And I'm so happy that I gave it another life and I know that if in like a future time I wanted it to be longer, I can just do that. I am speechless right now. I'm so happy when you like have this idea in your head and you're able to execute it perfectly. I am, 
I don't know what to say honestly it's everything that I wanted it to be so that's it for today's video thank you all so so much for watching it and spending time with me maybe you also had some pieces to tailor and mend and we could have done this together I would love that please leave a comment down below what you think about these transformations do you think they turned out well um what do you think about this dress I just I'm so excited right now honestly this just got me in the best mood possible and I'm so so excited honestly right now it's a good feeling so yeah I want to thank you for spending time with me today I hope you have a beautiful day go out enjoy the sunshine take yourself some time to focus on you and your mental health today and I will catch you in the next video bye everybody